you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures TV.
Have you met with the big one? No. He's searching for the Oliver to school. A any idea why he's looking for me? No, he didn't mention the reason. But I have a phone. Didn't it occur to him to call me? Or the people he sent in search of me to call me? Is it not a common sense? Well, common sense is common, but we we'll know when it truly really matters. But please go and see him. Very important. All right, I will. I will. See now. See you. How was the exam now? Yesterday. John, it was good, though it was kind of hetty. Okay now. All right. John, Jano! No bombs, man! Bye, man.
All right, guys. Well done. Small, get us something to drink, okay? Open the cans and get something. Let's refresh ourselves. Go. We are, we are set to go now, okay? We are marching to a Johnny Bridey. We are marching to a Johnny Bridey. We are marching. We are marching. We are marching to a Johnny Bridey. Say with me. We are marching to a Johnny Bridey. 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 What does it look like? I want to sit with you. For what? There's space at the back. Winners don't sit at the back. Guys, how can I lead from the back? It's not possible. It's not possible. Come, I want to ask you something. What is really pissing you off about me? Everything. You are an idiot. You are so pompous. Your insolence. You, 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 I don't know what to call you. You're just a proud person. What is it? Me, insolence. Me, pompous. Me, everything. Me, self-centered. You are just a generous hater. Now, I don't think you hate me. You don't like me that much. I wouldn't blame you. I blame me. Yes, I blame me. But all I want us to do right now is that we all should agree to go together, work together, come back victorious. Have we agreed on that? Of course. And 
agreed. You have to, you have to, you have to show me by giving me a powerful kiss. Is it why I said you're, you're a mad person? You're just an idiot. What's the meaning of that? Please get into the car. Let's get out of here. You're just a nightmare, babe. Nonsense. Ah, let's go. when you're traveling <laughs> it's not a ritual and yes I pray often yeah, yeah. This, the scripture says pray without season so I pray every morning afternoon evening I see that's a lot of commitment it is but you get used to it pray. like you mean you pray every morning and every night I mean that sounds like a ritual to me man <laughs> oh just like I was saying John! You will grow into it. You know a time comes when you feel like you're missing something until you get on your knees to pray. You know, it's so addicting. You don't always feel normal until you get your daily fix. Wow. What? Yes. Girl, I don't get it here. Does it mean you pray twice? Twice? Every blessed day? As for me, believe me, I won't know what to tell you because I'm not used to that. Uh, and yet you can talk to your friends from morning to night. Of course, they are my friends because I can feel them. I can always have something to tell my friends. But spending an hour, two hours with God, that's what I won't know what to say. And God is not real. Don't misquote me, that is not what I'm trying to say. Well, you know now. <laughs> we can actually do that with God too. What? That's not what I'm saying. I know you can actually What's do that with God. But not like spending like an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Who will you be telling God now? A lot. Wait, let me explain to you. You can actually get a seat and usher God to sit. And then you talk with him. I do that. Yes. You know, God is even more real than we can ever imagine. And by real, I mean in a more tangible sense. God is more closer to all than even our friends. Wake up and listen. God is even more tangible, more closer to us than even they are speaking, than even our friends. And if you are right by Him, you can feel Him around you. You can feel Him within you. And at that point, you can be able to express your heart. You can express your deepest secrets, your fears to Him. Hold on. And you know the most important part? You are sure you are talking to someone who would not judge you. You're talking to somebody who cares for you more than you even care for your own self. More than those your friends. That's it. I'm still saying the same thing. But what I'm trying to let you to understand here is that spending an hour, two hours, three hours before. Let me, let me tell you my prayer life, son. If I wake up in the morning, I'll be like, God, thank you for a beautiful day you've given to me. Thank you. Bless my going out and my going out. That's all. <laughs> You are sitting close to me. I want to lie down on your legs. I'm feeling sleepy. Lover boy, are you not studying? Last minute studying is not my style. You just said that last minute studying is not your style. What day is the style? I don't study a couple of days before exam. I study weeks. I play, I do anything that makes me happy. It does for me what hibernation does for school. It refreshes my mind, makes me look sound and good. Excuse me? Hibernation? 
dulls the mind. It can't do for you what it does for squirrels. Oh no! Bravo! 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 Someone is interested in our conversation. Lucy! Okay. Okay, let's talk about vacation. Lucy. What is vacation all about? Does it dull the, the, the mind or re-energizes it? You tell us. Really? I think so too. But it's something of later on. Okay. Alright, so it's safe to say that vacation is for human while uh, hibernation is for school. Eh? Lucy, am I right? <laughs> no response. Jesus! What is what? it? What? Jesus. what is it? I just had a bad dream. You, you saw your grandmother. I don't understand. Like, I, I, you just said the dreamer. Oh, come on, guys. I'm oh, pulling your legs. What? Don't ever try that you again. Know, you're, 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 ever. you're too damn old for this. What Did the you hell? Listen, oh. at your age, bro, I'm sorry, guys. Why do you like using expensive jokes on this? I don't like Driver. Driver, please, I'm pressed. I want to ease myself. Even driver, driver, please stop now. Let's ease ourselves. Driver, are you pressed? Yes. yes. No, driver, stop the bus. Driver, stop, please. Stop. Look on Natanya. Michael! Why are you dressed like that? Man, dress well, dress well, I don't like it.
Shut up. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, 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 W-O-L-F I'd like to introduce my guys to you. I'm sure you'd like to know them all. That is black. It's my next in command. That is small. That's Martin. That's Ami over there. The guy standing there is Stan. The lady behind you is Angel. My dogs. But not to worry. They're not gonna bite you. I'd like to gladly inform you that you have been kidnapped. You've been brought to the middle of nowhere. You all are going to stay here with us until the ransom is paid and then he let you go don't worry about the guns we only use it to help hunt wild animals you know we're in the middle of the jungle we need to eat so we use it to hunt we use it to kill wild animals can also use it to kill you. That is if you run wild like an animal. Alright? Any question? Yes! Yes! Let me. Hmm. I have something to say to Black. Black! You are the next in command. Raise that gun! Place it on his head and shoot him. Kill him! You will be in charge. You know you want to do it. No piece of paper. Blast his head. Kill him! You know. Them alone. I don't want any of you to touch them. These are our guests. They need to be treated with some respect. Okay? Have I made myself clear? Yes, Come. Move. Yes. Come on, move. No! No, 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 no. What was that all about? You 
you're trying to kill me. Do you think we'll make kidnapping us easy for you? Do you think so? trying to kidnap you. We have kidnapped you already. Maybe you don't know that. So the earlier you start behaving yourself like a captive that you are, the better for you. Go back to yourself. Listen up, all of you. I want to sound this as a warning. I always like to be gentle. Don't give me reason to start shooting you. Because when I do, I can't stop. Because I like to put it on rapid. I don't stop until it's finished. Leave yourselves. As long as you're here. Your life is dependent on your behavior. Girls, where are we spending the weekend? At cinema. At cinema? Jenny, what do you think? Where do you want us to spend the weekend? You want us to go to swimming pool. Oh, so, what do we do now? Stephanie said at cinema, and you're saying swimming pool. So, what will happen is that we'll go to cinema this weekend. Yes. Good evening. And next week, Welcome to, to STV pool. News Understand? Update. Students of Sam Damien University that were traveling for the regional school competition have been what? kidnapped. The police and other security Jesus. agencies Honey, have started Daddy. investigating. Stay tuned for more Honey, updates. Come on, you need to see this. For a short break. What? Jesus Christ. My students? Oh. Iko. Did you get the news? I just saw it on national television. My students have been kidnapped. Come here, take them. Come here. please take them to the truth. Take them to the truth. Come here. Come here. Are you that way? Move, move. Sit down there. Are you move? Move inside. Sit down. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Sit down. I repeat you, sit down there. I said sit. I repeat, sit down. You have the right to remain silent. If you make any funny move here. You're not joking. You know, said I'm not for sleep before. Hey, hey. As as he's back in, I can just kill him. With gun? 
Yes, you need prayers. It's very easy to kill him, as he's backing me. You, you sent for me? Yes. I just got information from the national television that my students have been kidnapped. What? That is serious. The student that went for the annual university regional competition has been kidnapped. So you mean the news of the students kidnapped are your students? Seven of my best engineering students kidnapped. My mind can't comprehend this. Um, director, just calm down. I want you to calm down and think. Do you have any problem with anyone? Far from it. Far from it. Even if I have issue with anybody, would that be tantamount to them kidnapping my students? They should have come for me. They should have come for me. Director, just relax, okay? Just calm down. You see, this is an issue of kidnap. It has to do with underground investigation. It's my job. It's our job. How we handle it? You are not smiling anymore? No more jokes? I'm just processing. Mm, just processing. <laughs> ah, food is ready. You guys should come and eat. Ah. Can we say no? Just joking, ma. Right? Yes. Can I call you Mayo or Mama? You can. My sister used to call me that. She must be a lovely sister. It's my pleasure meeting you. Pleasure. Bravo. That was a brilliant one. Making a friend out from the enemy, right? It's too early to call her that. You definitely got some skills up your sleeve. Yeah. More of that, man. And trust me, we stand a chance. What are you two even talking about? Escape, of course. Escape. Shut your mouth. Keep quiet. Be careful. Chooks. Be very careful. Watch your tongue. Let's go eat. Excuse me? Eat? Eat is eat. Let's go eat. Is it wise to eat their food? Oh, come on, Lucy. There's nothing wrong with that. You see, these guys, they, they, they've got a million and one ways of killing us. Not poisoning our food. So let's just go and eat. Are you guys ready to eat now? Are we going to eat with our uncle? Oh, Pampas boy. Yeah, you went to pee. <sighs> you guys can go and wait for him now. We eat, we thank them, we come back to the tent. Okay? We, we thank them? Yes, we thank them. Shh. At least they have the decency of giving us food. It could have been worse if they're not doing that. That is the spirit. We should appreciate. Let's be grateful. It could have been worse. Don't be selfish. Are you listening to me? See, that's bullshit. Be you double L shit. What is food without freedom? Did I beg for food? What is your problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Hey guys. Come on, what are you waiting for? Go to the dining. I prepared something nice for you. Dining? Yeah, come on. Dining, let's go. Thank you, sir. Hiya. Please serve them. Ah, Olu. Good day, sir. Thank please, you very much. Please do sit down. Don't need your seat. Why? Why have you been dodging? My invitation. What appointment I fixed with you? You turn all down. Why? 
Look, Mr. Ma. My son, Michael Krodudu, is one of your students. For some days now, I can't reach him. Every means of communication have proved about him. And right the information reaching me is telling me that some of the students was kidnapped. Your son's name is? Michael Krodudu. Students, but for him to be kidnapped, that I don't know, sir. You need to know, but I can get him. I can see him. I can reach him on phone. Look, let me tell you. You have to be very serious because I need my son. I, if I can't get him, surely trust me that I will do to you an entire school. I will mercilessly deal with you people. Rightly, I told you that is my stand. Make sure in no distant time I get my son. You have me well. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Next time you get Indomie for this guy. Oh, it's Okay. I'm supposed to How are you all doing, guys? We are doing good. Hope you enjoy yourself. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, sir. It's okay. We thank you for your hospitality. We really needed the food. Come on, don't mention. You guys are our responsibilities. We brought you here. So, it's our duty to take care of you. We want you guys to be strong for as long as you stay here. Okay? Okay. Because very soon we're going to be sending a message to your people. Let them see that we're taking good care of you guys. Alright? Right, right. Of course. Alright. Hey, listen. I don't want you all to misunderstand this whole thing. Because I see the expression on your faces. A sad one. Matter of fact, I got nothing personal with any of you, okay? I don't hate anyone here, just doing my business, just doing my job, okay? Come on, man. A man's got to do what he's got to do to survive, right? What was that? Uh, uh, please, uh, forgive our insensitivity. Perhaps the, the, the guests should go back in, if you permit me. Well, um, of course, if they want to go back, it's fine. Okay, good. Thank, thank, thank you, sir. sir. Come on. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, we can all let. We can all. Uh, yes, yes, yes. The, the guys would love to hang out with you some more, if you don't mind. Well, it's okay. It's good if you guys want to hang out. You can hang out. Black is going to stay here with you. They're going to get you guys, you know. They're going to get more drinks for you guys, all right? Mayo, get them drinks. Okay, sir. See you later. This one you guys are frowning, what's the matter? Sensitivity. What does he think he is? What is he even doing? What is he doing? He's just giving the animals so much power, making us appear weak and helpless. What does he think he is? 
Nonsense. What is it? Why you complain? What, what is your is problem? It? What is it? What is what? How about you? You're complaining for another person. How about you? How about me? Ah. I will show that beast. I will show the animal, the idiot, that we are not weak and that we are not helpless. He is not totally in charge. Nonsense. Sensitivity. He knows where we are and how to get out. I think he's pretty much in charge. We need to do something about this. I'm tired. Me, I'm tired, though. Hey, hey, you. Just mm. shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up! Mm -mm. Mm. Me, I love the fact I'm here. Mm. I love the fact I'm sleeping with these monsters outside. I love it. Everybody's complaining, complaining. Let's look for a way out. Let's look for a solution. No, rather than complaining here. He's in charge. Hello? Am I on to San Damien University, Office of the Vice Chancellor? Okay. I want to have a word with the Vice Chancellor. Tell him it's an emergency. Okay, I'm hanging on. Mr. Vice Chancellor, it may interest you to know that the, the students you're looking for are in my custody. And for you to get them back alive, you must pay a ransom of 200 million. I repeat, 200 million naira. The police must not hear about this. Neither should any security agency know about this. 200 million is the money. I will tell you the location where the money will be brought cash. I repeat, the police should not be involved. For you to get them back alive, the police should not be involved. So, uh, how does it go, uh, this business? Because you all know how it goes. You all know how it goes. You are not novice to the kidnapping thing, I'm sure. If you haven't been kidnapped before, I'm sure you must have heard people who have been kidnapped. You must have heard their stories. But anyway, just in case you don't know, this is how it goes. First of all, we made a kidnap, which we've already done. That's why you're here. And then, and then we are going to be sending out a ransom note demanding for what we want. After which negotiation is going to set in. And once the negotiation is done, we get our money. You guys go home. Simple. But, but, but you haven't got the contact of our loved ones. So how do, how do you contact them? <laughs> don't worry about that. We don't need to contact your loved ones. We don't need them here. We're dealing with your school. Your school management. Yeah. I see. So, they're better off. Because if we contact your loved ones, they may not pay. You know why? No. Because that loved one that you think loves you so much, may love his or her 5 million or 10 million naira more than they love you. They may not be willing to pay and that will make us do our words. That will make us keep our words, taking action, which means killing you guys. But we don't want to do that. So we leave your loved ones out of it. We go for school authority. In this business, we actually deal with personalities like the government, big shots, like your school, people who we know can pay. Although sometimes the government, they don't always want to pay. They bring up this bullshit about we don't negotiate with terrorists 
or kidnappers and all that stuff. But hey, we have our ways around it. We know how to make them pay and they always pay. So, that's it. Do this a lot? Of course. Been doing it for years. Been doing it. Been doing it for years until the government became so strict on kidnapping. Wow. It's it's really a bad time to to be in the kidnapping business, you know. Of course it's a bad time, I know. But we gotta do what we gotta do. It's all about the money. We gotta take the risk. So how much are you asking from the school for our ransom? We're doing so much work here, so we ask for so much money. Have you established a, a contact with our school management? No, nah, we don't need to establish contact with your school authority yet. We want to keep them in the heat, let them sweat. You know, let the tension rise. Matter of fact, we're not going to force them. They'll be the one begging us for communication. Because by the time there's so much pressure from the press, from the media houses, the social networks, the bloggers, carrying all the news about, the pressure is going to make them beg us for communication. And then whatever we tell them, they'll pay to set you guys free. So don't worry about that. How long does this take? Well, maybe days, weeks, or even months. Months? Of course, months. Hey, relax, okay? You guys are very important to your school authority. So, they're going to do something quick. Because already, it's in the news. It's everywhere in the news. I saw your VC yesterday on TV. They were talking about what they're going to do to get you guys released. Some of your lecturers were being interviewed too. I saw it all over the news. It's everywhere. So don't worry. They're going to do something soon to get you guys out of here. But, but how did you know? You, you said there is no reception here. Well, I lied to you guys. Hey! Because behind you is a dish. So you just know. The man said, once they receive the money, they let us go. And you're going to take his word for that? You're going to believe that because he's some kind of a saint? Oh, come on. But they've been good to us. Wait. I think you've been admiring this guy. Yes, it's written all over your face. You like this guy. <laughs> I, I, are you kidding me? What do you mean by that? Like, admire my fellow guy? Like, do I, like, do I look gay to you? You never can tell. You never can tell. For instance, look at John, well-dressed. Look at me, well-dressed. You, why are you exposing your body? Like, what's your damn business? Chooks, you're just an wire. Ah, what's that? Listen, if we try to do something rash, like, let's say, try to escape. There's nothing rash in that. These people are just waiting for the money, and trust me, once this money is paid, they... They let us go. Oh, come on, grow up, boy. I wonder how you reason at times. They fed us, give us good hospitality just to capture our mind. Trust me, once that ransom is being paid, they will just kill us. Grow up! I don't even know if you're putting on a boxer or a pampas. Grow up! Chicks. Chicks, you're just being paranoid. See, this is just a job for these guys. It's just a job until it stops being just a job. What do you mean? Like, what are you saying? We have an enemy. A common enemy. But that enemy is not in this room. I don't see the reason we, we fight ourselves. Quarry ourselves. If we have differences, we keep it aside. Listen. Listen very, very attentively. If we are to live here alive, we need to stick together as one. Well. Did Prof not tell us that? Yeah, he did. Just that then, thought it was you and John. 
God forbid. Listen to me. Wolf and his gang members can never be my friend. A man that threatens people with gun. A man that steals people's freedom with gun. Even in my dream world, I declined. He can never be my friend. Listen to me. We must bide our time. And that time you're talking about is a huge luxury we cannot afford right now. I'm very sure that the news about our disappearance has gone viral. And trust me, they are going to pay the money. And once that is done, trust me, these people are going to slaughter us. They are going to kill us because I am sure there is something more to read. It is not about the ransom. There is something to read. Now I know that the beast that parade itself in this forest has entered you to die. You are talking about death. I'll kill you. You want to die? Jokes, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Jokes, I'll kill you. John, how dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? Jokes, are you deaf? Jokes, can you just zip that little goat that you call Matt? Can you zip it for me? Zip it! You would do nothing. Lucy. Lucy. Do you know if I turn like this now, I'll you. I said stop it! You will do nothing! Should I kill him? Stop. Do you know I can take your life myself? Oh shit. They gave you to me. I'll you kill you now. Nothing. Trust me. You I will, will do just... nothing. Trust me, I'll kill you. Stop! Yes! Yes! I will call him to come and kill us. The meaning of this nonsense is late. Let's sleep. I will not call him to come and kill us. I said it's okay. It's soulless. What is soulless? What are you talking about? Why don't you go out there and be doing this? Just go out there and challenge him. Okay. You are here challenging with your fellow. Just stop. Just stop. Look at you. Look at you. What's wrong with you guys? You guys? Yeah. Jukes have insulted me. Oh no. Are you the only leader here? I'm also a leader. You a leader? You know I love you so much. Whatever you tell me, I listen to you. Okay? Wolf will kill you. Wolf will kill you. Wolf will kill you. Kill her. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I'm calling you in respect of the said ransom and the location where you were supposed to drop the ransom. Let me inform you, as you are coming with the ransom, you must come alone. If you fail to come alone, you want to play funny by involving the security agency, the police or whoever you want to come with, I will tell you, you will not walk out of this territory alive. You must come alone with the said ransom if you want your students alive. Failure to do so, I promise you, in the next 72 hours, if we do not have the ransom, we consider all of your students dead. I mean, consider them dead. 200 million or nothing. Were you even asleep? How could I? A man whose life is at the point of death. What does he need a sleep for? What do you want? I came to apologize on what happened earlier. I was out of line.
For real? I'm sorry the way I spoke to you wrongly. I promise you it will never happen again. But you stop telling us that we will be killed after the ransom is being paid to these kidnappers. But that is the fact. Trust me, these guys are not going to let us out from this place alive. Listen to me, I know from the start. Kidnappers, that their faces are not closed, letting you and I to know where we are kept. <laughs> Believe me, you, brother, we are not going back alive. So you'd know that? I saw that. You looked so freaked out. You looked so freaked out. Point of correction, I was actually freaked out. You don't need to scare the girls. These girls are banking on us. They are relying on us. They believe we make way for them. Listen, we don't have to scare them. Um, John. I didn't come here to babysit anybody. Right now, I'm thinking more about myself. Listen, Chooks. Our living here alive depends on our collective efforts. Or we die as a thief. Individually, look at my two hands 50 50. Make your choice collective or dying as a team. Which one do you choose? When you see it, which one do you choose? Small, go and call them. Sir. Okay, sir. Right, greet you. Good morning, yeah, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I hope you guys slept well. Yes, sir. Yes, we did. Alright. I, I didn't see you all through the night. Yeah, I went hunting. No, I like to hunt. It's like a hobby to me. Okay. How about you, sir? Yeah. You know, there are a lot of bushmeat around. I actually killed about two grass cutters. For us? Yeah. Okay, so... So you're gonna have something to eat. Maya is preparing it. For you guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Uh, sir, can we go now? Yeah, sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don? Huh? Can you... It's time to tell the world that you guys are still alive. Okay? Don't repeat it inside. No. It's going to be dark. You do it outside here. It's more beautiful. All right, come on, stand up and take a pose. That's the background. Black, are you ready? Do your thing, man. Take your positions. All right, let go. Hey, come on. I don't want you guys wearing these long faces, okay? You need to put a smile on your face. Let them know that we're taking good care of you. Alright? Because you don't know where these pictures might be going to. Could be in the newspapers, in the TV, 
I'm sure you don't want him to see your face looking odd on TV. So give me some smile, man. All right? Black, do it. Let go. All right, guys. Take many shots, as much shots as you can. Let's go. Let go. I think uh, Wolf is right. This picture will be posted on national TV. I don't want to look scruffy. No. I'm looking tight. Do you have any problem with that?